Will this be sufficient, Mr. Cassidy? This is excellent, Albert. Thank you. Good morning. Albert, this is Scorpio. I'd like to speak to Cassidy, please. Uh, one moment, please, sir. That's Robert Scorpio, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> this will be all, Albert. Good morning, Scorpio. Been a busy one so far. Look, I'd like to have a talk to you sometime. You have any new information? Nothing definite at the moment. I'm about to go over and check out the security company that Alex and Luke uh, went to yesterday, but I'm pretty sure what I'll find there. What, that they're handling the security for the auction hall? Yeah. I am still wondering about the connection between Lilac Watermain and Alex. I mean, it seems to me too much of a coincidence that Alex's aunt is the organizer of the art auction, and then somehow you have the Ice Princess turn up as one of the items to bid for. Well, perhaps, but I've met Lila Quartermain, and I think that's exactly what it is, an incredible coincidence. She's a lovely lady, but rather disorganized. I can't imagine that Alex would ever imagine or ever let her have anything to do with something that could endanger the family fortune. Well, then you believe it's possible that actually Alex lost the Ice Princess to uh, dock thieves and somehow it found its way in the hands of charity? Not only possible, but probable. <laughs> that's incredible. Look, all I know is if, if that statue that's up for bids at the moment is not the real thing, then Spencer has been taking a whole lot of risks for nothing, I mean, to the extent that he almost got busted while trying to recover it from a police property room. You know, that's something very much Alex uh, would do to use a man like that. I hope for her sake she's not. He doesn't take kindly to being used. Is he, I assume he's working uh, very hard at the moment uh, on that assignment. Oh, yes. He's very busy this morning. He's checking out the hall itself. Can't go out the front door guards, can't go out the back door guards, can't stay in here. Cassidine Scorpio, what the hell am I gonna do? What's this? Dumbwaiter. How interesting. Hey, buddy, what do you think you're doing? Were you able to trace that call? Heather, what are you doing? Rick, nothing. I. Operator, I'm sorry for the interruption. Uh, do you have that information we need? I'm sorry, sir, but we have no way of tracing an incoming long distance call. Thank you, Operator. Thank you very much. Heather, what's going on? She was tracing a call, I would assume a call from Jeff. Here. That's funny. He's not at home either. Uh, will you please try Kelly's diner for me? He's not at Kelly's. And how do you know that? Because he was going in the opposite direction. Uh, which was where? I don't know. You see, uh, when I was by his place this morning, I asked him if he could drive me to work, but he said that he couldn't because he, uh, he was going in the opposite direction. I see. Did he say anything else? Oh, we talked a lot for a very long time. But not about anything you'd be interested in. Try me. He said that he had something to do and that he'd better hit the road. Laura, if I ever find out that you're holding out on me... I don't know where he is, Alex. Part of the reason he doesn't tell me anything is that he wants to make sure that I won't repeat it to you. That's just great. Another morning of waiting for my favorite employee. Right. And that's what it looks like. Well, good morning. You haven't answered my question, Bub. What are you doing? I'm checking the uh, security facilities for the auction that's coming up. Yeah? Yes, I work for ELQ International. We're uh, making a check for Lila Quartermain. Anyone know you're here? Yes, the hall secretary. Miss Stevens? Oh, all right. Well, if she knows you're here. 
Yes, she does. She was telling me there were going to be two men stationed at this uh, back door, guards, and there will be one man stationed out here. Is that correct? Well, I don't know nothing about that. I just clean the place, you know, see that the lights are working, that sort of thing. Ah. Well, you do a fine job. The place is spick and span. Well, thanks. You know, it's not easy cleaning a place this size, you know. Mm-hmm. I can imagine. I didn't know that they were still putting dumb waiters in halls like this. Oh, sure. We gotta have ways to bring the food up and down from the kitchen to the different halls, you know. I see. Well, you must serve quite a quite a large group of people. That's a that's a very big dumbwaiter. Well, sometimes we serve two, maybe three hundred people at one time. Really? Yep. And this little baby sure saves lots of footwork, I'll tell you. It brings the food right up here from the kitchen in the basement. Isn't that fascinating? Heather, I want an explanation. Why? You already have all the answers. Jeff is not ready for you to know where he is. Period. With my son. I thought you said you were going to abide by Jeff's decision. I'm trying to. But how do you think I felt when I was sitting in Dr. Hardy's office and I heard there was a call coming from Jeff and then I was asked to leave? That's what happened, I'll tell you. What do you mean, if that's what happened? Now, Heather, don't read something into every single thing that's said. I still love my son. I don't want to find him. Is that so awful? Is it? What does everyone think I'm going to do to him? No, no, it's not that. It isn't? Heather. Then what is it? Why can't I find him? Why won't you tell me where he is? Don't be patronizing to me. All I want to know is where my son is. Try to see it from my side. For change. Let's say that you had a daughter and that she was missing and you tried and tried to find her and then you finally found her only to have her taken away from you again and you didn't know where she was. I, I could understand how you feel. It's not that simple. It isn't. Because I've been in a sanitarium. Well, I'm going to be released from there very soon. My doctor thinks I'm well enough. Only no one thinks about that. Nobody cares, because nobody cares about me. Heather, that's not true. Isn't it? I'm just a nuisance everyone has to deal with. Whenever I come to town, everyone looks at me like I've got the plague or something. Now, that's not even fair. Rick has volunteered to be responsible for you. Because he has to. Because Jeff asked him to. I don't think this is necessary to discuss. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I'm finally coming home. And all the people I care about aren't here. Heather, we're not trying to persecute you regarding this. We're not. I'm really sorry if all of this happened. I guess... I guess Dr. Hardy's gonna be hung up in his office for a while. I'll just go. I only wanted to ask him about a job. John. When I'm released from Forest Hills, I, I want to make it on my own. I don't want to be a burden to anyone. Well, I thought maybe there'd be some kind of job here I could have at the hospital. Well, we can ask him about that for you if you like. Thank you. She just, she's like a comedian. She's totally changed from one minute to the next. I'm trying to have that call, Trace. But she didn't get any information. Not this time, no. Yes, sir. I'll have two extra guards for you as soon as I can. Yes, sir. And uh, thank you for calling. Well, good morning, sir. So you say. Oh, is something wrong? You better believe it, buddy. I've been ripped off. My apartment's been done over. I'm sorry. And I live in one of those, those security buildings. I mean, uh, uh, it's a high-rise and all. Harbor Towers, you've probably heard of it. My, that's a very exclusive building. Yes, well, it didn't stop some sleazeball breaking in and just completely tearing my apartment apart. Well, sir, crime really has gotten out of hand these days, and, well, that's why we're so busy here. Yes, my bad fortune is your good fortune, so to speak. <laughs> well, I don't like to think of it that way, and uh, you should think on the positive side. At least you weren't hurt. This time? Well, obviously, that's why you're here. You're worried about that 
next time. And believe me, you came to the right place. We're the best security firm in town. Well, I mean, that's what you say. Uh, well, just like the sign says, our security is your security. Uh, that about tells the story. Well, look, that's absolutely wonderful. You see, I'm something of a skeptic. Also, I'm rather new in town. Now, I'd quite like some references. Someone who might have used your company before. Is that a problem? Well, yes, it is. Uh, you see, it, it would violate security if I gave you the names of any of our clients. Oh. I'd love to, you understand, but I just can't. Well, that's an admirable policy, but you must understand, I mean, my position. I just can't take your word for it. No offense. Oh, well, there's none taken. Uh, you could call the uh, Better Business Bureau. Yeah, well, you see, they don't deal much in success, just failure. Well, have you seen any of our ads? They're in the paper, uh, television, and... Oh, well. It's just more biased opinion. Look, uh, I can see that I'm just going to have to find some company that's prepared to give me a few references. She said, I have a lot of objects to art in my apartment, and fortunately, this particular time, whoever ripped me off didn't have much taste. However, there is that next time. <sighs> I, I don't know what I can do. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. I can see that we really can't do business, but thanks very much for your time. Uh, uh, wait! Uh there may be something that we could work out. Well, unless you can supply me with references, I don't see how. Wait, you said any kind of reference? Sure, anybody that's used your company. And you just want to know what kind of uh, service we give and, well, that sort of thing, right? Exactly. I mean, what can you offer me? Well, it probably wouldn't violate security rules if I gave you the name of a one-shot engagement. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, coincidentally, it's to guard an auction where there are a lot of pieces of art displayed. That wouldn't be the General Hospital Art Auction, would it? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, it is, and it's a very big job. A one-off engagement, though, hmm? Uh, well, the auction people seem quite happy. Uh, they were just in yesterday checking the security arrangements. That wouldn't be Lila Quartermain, would it? Uh, no, she had her niece handling it for her with oh. the uh, auction manager. He came down here in person? Do you know Mr. Spencer? Oh, oh yes, he's quite well. A tall chap, frizzy hair, uh, beady eyes, no chin. That's fine. <laughs> yes, that's him. Yeah, know him well. Yes, Good he's a very him. nice, cooperative man. To a fault. <laughs> well, he seemed quite pleased uh, with the arrangements. He and Miss Quatermain went over the security arrangements thoroughly, and they seemed quite satisfied. Well, that's wonderful. Look, I've really enjoyed this chat, and I'll be in touch with Miss Quatermain and Mr. Spencer, then I'll get back to you. Wonderful. I'm so glad that we could work this out. So am I. Yeah, that, uh, that's a very large dumbwaiter. It, it certainly does have facilities to feed a large number of people here. Hundreds, and it's all good food, too. Yeah, I can imagine. Boy, it must be quite a job fixing all those dinners. Oh, that kitchen's pretty big down there. I don't think I'd like to work in a basement. Ah, uh, me either. But the chefs don't seem to mind. The chefs feed me every now and then, you know, and that food sure beats what I get at home, but don't tell that to my wife, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't even consider doing that. You're quite a good salesman. I am? Why, sure. You may not know it, but, uh, you may have just got a lot of business for this auction hall. How did I do that? Well, by raving about the food. You see, um, Mrs. Quartermain hasn't quite decided yet if she's going to serve refreshments or not, and, uh, with my recommendation, who knows, maybe she'll do that. You think so? She might, and if she does, I will definitely mention your name to the hall secretary out there. I'll tell her that you swayed the vote. Well, I can always use points. Yeah, can't we all, can't we all? But then again, I, uh... I'm not really positive that uh, she will decide to serve refreshments. You see, Miss, Mrs. Quartermain is very, very fussy about where the food is prepared. Mm. High society people are like that. Aren't they? Uh, would you like me to show you around downstairs? Would you do that? I sure would. I'm not steering you wrong, buddy. Well, that would be great. I would appreciate it very much. Come on, let me show you the kitchen right now. Wonderful. I'd like to see all the facilities. No sweat. Trust me, you're going to like what you see. Good. I certainly hope so.